Looks like the team fight is happening on left. We're going to start charging up our ultimate. We're going to dash through everyone and try to get to the back line. We use our ultimate. We're able to get a pick onto one. They have no idea I'm behind them. We get a basic. We're able to clean up the new wash. Here's the majority of their damage. That's going to be a double kill. We're going to throw this Neath into the wall. Get some basics onto her. And we're able to clean up the Neath. We're going to get some basics onto the Scotty. We're already at a triple. There's the Emir. We're going to use our one. Get a basic onto him. We're at the quadra kill. Now we just need to basic attack the Scotty. And we get the Penta kill. I think that's my second ever Penta kill in a game. And now we should be able to just clean up this fire giant uncontested. What a do, skibbity boo, it's your boy Shawnee B Gaming, and today we're doing a skin showcase for the Michelangelo Mercury skin. If you are new to the channel, I upload every single day. I add some commentary to a game that I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right, what went wrong and hopefully there's something we can learn together. If there is something that we learn together, make sure you check out the channel and subscribe for some more content. If you are a returning viewer, Mercury is a late game monster. He's an auto attack based assassin. This game, we kind of popped off, but we also made a lot of bad engagements and silly mistakes. So let's go ahead and take a look into Mercury's kit. Mercury's one, made you look. Mercury's gonna move in the blink of an eye, dealing one melee attack to every enemy standing within the circle. This ability cannot critically hit and triggers ability related item effects, but not basic attack related item effects. So that means you could get a crusher proc, but you could not get a quinsai proc. As you level up this ability, the radius of the circle is going to increase from 7.5 to 13.5. Mercury's 2, maximum velocity. While this ability is not active, Mercury is going to gain increased movement speed. At level 1, it's going to be 2%, and then at level 5, it's going to be 10%. Once Mercury does activate this ability, it's going to increase his attack speed, cleanse himself of slows, and become immune to slows for the duration. This lasts for 5 seconds. At level 1, the attack speed increase is going to be 30%. And then at level 5, it's going to be 70%. Mercury's 3, Special Delivery. Mercury dashes forward, knocking aside minions, grabbing the first enemy god he encounters and spinning them. The enemy god takes damage until this effect ends, then Mercury throws the god in the direction of his choice. The spin is going to last for 1 second. Mercury's ultimate, Sonic Boom. Mercury's going to gather energy for a powerful dash, with the range extending as he does so. He travels the distance faster than the speed of sound, dealing damage to all enemies, stunning them and spinning them around in a random direction. The enemies are going to be distorted while spinning for 1.5 seconds. And Mercury's passive, fastest got alive. For every one unit traveled, Mercury's going to gain a 0.08% physical power bonus for his next basic attack, maximum of 40%. Mercury also gains additional physical power equal to 25% of the movement speed from items or abilities. And we were able to get the first blood on Fenrir. He kind of overstepped a little bit. We had wave advantage. Medusa kind of baited him. Whenever Fenrir used his 3, we were able to cancel him out of his 3 by using R3. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of poke onto this new wall. We're really not trying to fight this because we're trying to save up for 1350 gold. That way we can get Golden Blade before backing. We're going to go ahead and fall back, rotate towards our red buff. We don't really expect New Wall to push, so this should be pretty free. We're going to go ahead and clear our red buff. Rotate to our back harpies. Our speed's going to be respawning in about 20 seconds. So we're probably going to hit this camp, rotate the speed, go harpies, then blue. I really like this skin. I like the nunchucks. Whenever he's swaying to the left, his right nunchucks are going to spin. Whenever he's swaying to the right, his left nunchucks are going to spin. We're going to dash through the minions, group them up, use our one. Go ahead, drop the big minion. So on the speed camp, the large minion is going to use its ability, Spear Thrust. You want to try to take care of the large minion first. We're going to go ahead and drop the harpies. We're off to an excellent start. We got first blood, so that's going to be an additional 500 gold in our pocket. We have enough money for the golden blade, but we're going to go ahead and drop the blue before backing. We're thinking about getting the Scotty, but she's running towards tower, so we're just going to go ahead and back. We're going to pick up golden blade. Golden blade is going to provide us 30 power, 15% attack speed, and 10% movement speed. 
All basic attacks will also hit enemies within a 15 unit radius for 50% of the damage. This is really going to help Mercury and his jungle clear. With Golden Blade, we just need to focus the large minion and we should be able to get the small minions from the bonus damage from Golden Blade. We just hit level 5, so now we have a point into our ultimate in terms of the leveling order. At level 1, we want to put a point into our 1. Level 2, we want to put a point. We're going to dash in, get some basics, and Medusa is able to clean her up with her ultimate. Medusa probably didn't need to use her ultimate right there. We probably would have gotten that pick without it, but either way, we're fine with it. Setting up our mid, that's always helpful. We're going to go ahead and drop our red, then rotate to our red. Drop their red and rotate to our red. Level 1, put a point into your 1. Level 2, put a point into your 3. Level 3, put a point into your 2. Then we're going to want to max out our 1, max out our ultimate whenever we can. We're going to try to help this Medusa out. We're going to throw this Fenrir towards the wall, get a basic on him. Kind of chase him down a little bit, get another basic, second basic. And he's able to jump away. So we did waste a little bit of time right there. We could have rotated towards our red buff a little bit sooner. We really should have just thrown Fenrir. Got a poke on him. Once he started trying to run away, just let him run away. We don't really have full potential with just Golden Blade. Since we are full health, full mana, and we don't have enough money for anything other than the tier 1 boots, we're just going to run over to speed and start another rotation. New all ultimate incoming. Does a decent amount of damage. That is going to be an issue later on in the game. We're going to rotate to our blue buff, let our soul in her know, so they can try to come over here and get some of the gold and XP. Doesn't look like he's up, oh, he's on his way. We, I think he was within range of getting that. We could have waited a second to make sure he was within range. So, that's something we could have improved. With Jungler's Blessing, we're getting 100% of the farm from camps. It's whereas anyone who's with us is getting partial farm. If you are clearing wave or camps with an additional person, you are going to be splitting XP. If you have jungler's blessing, you don't split camp XP. Scotty's here. We did not get that dash. That was a swing and a miss. We get her with our one. We're going to get a basic. One more basic. And we're able to clean up the Scotty. So we've shown a little bit of love to mid, we've shown a little bit of love to solo. Now we probably need to show a little bit of love to dual lane. We have a Baron on our team, so we're able to get Jungler's Blessing. A little bit of lag right there. Unfortunate, I forgot to plug in my Ethernet cord into my Xbox. Since this new all is so far pushed back, we're going to go peek her red buff real quick. Try to get a little poke on her. Looks like she avoided it. Looks like Fenrir just dropped their red. So we're going to go ahead and rotate to mid. Then rotate to our red buff. Another bad guy down. You now that we have enough money for boots, we are going to want to back here before going and picking up speed. We're going to see if we can gank the Neath on the enemy team. But she's too far back. We're not going to be able to make it there in time. So we're just going to back, get our boots online dash out of fountain so we can get to the action a little bit faster. So Mercury does have an attack chain. It is normal hit, less than normal hit, and then stronger than normal hit. So let's see if we can 180, 135, 229. We do have our ultimate. Baron just used his ultimate. We're going to time it to where we barely overextend. And we're going to toss her. Get the pick onto the Scotty. We're going to rotate back to our red buff. Oh, we're going to clear the minions and then check their blue buff. Now we're going to rotate to our blue buff. So if we are invading an enemy camp before the 15 minute mark, we're getting a reduced amount of gold and XP for invading. This is a change that they put in at the beginning of Season 7. A little bit of lag right there. Luckily the lag is happening on camps and not in team fights. Let's 
Let's see if New Law is going to step up. Doesn't look like it. We're just going to go ahead and poker. Go ahead, rotate, and drop this red buff. We're going to rotate right. Neath gets Neath. Jing just ults the Ymir. We're going to come in. Dash onto the Ymir. Throw him in the wall. Get a basic on him. And we're able to clean up the Ymir. Off to an excellent start this game. We're going to head rotate back to our red buff. Make sure we're, that we're getting some golden XP. We never want to be just standing idly by as jungle or sitting in a lane too long. There's plenty of camps for us to hit. We're going to go ahead and back. We're going to start working on a hasten katana. We're going to pick up the tier 2 sword. We're going to hop on our skateboard. We have not hopped on our skateboard enough this game. So if you are new to Smite, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the thing that brought you to the game. If you're trying to hop on the skateboard, it is called the VGS system. It is the Smite in communication game. So whenever I push right on the D-pad for Xbox and push some buttons, it's going to release a command like, Thanks, hi, nice job. The hopping on the skateboard is hidden in the VGS system. It's not hidden. You just got to know how to navigate to it. We're going to blink in. We're going to dash. Throw her towards a wall. Hit her with our one. She has a meditation for some reason. Baron's able to clean her up. We're going to start working on the enemy blue buff. Then rotate to our blue buff. Looks like we're not rotating to our blue buff. We're going to take some more farm from the enemy. So this game is a full team of members from the Discord server. Um, we did a stream the other day with these people, and then I was like, I need to record one. So we turned off the stream, and we just played with the same group. If you are ever trying to play on stream or just try to group up with people, the Discord link is in the description down below. We're going to dash in on this new wall, throw her away from tower. We could have body blocked her right there, but we kind of misstepped a little bit. Fenrir is on us. We might use our ultimate to get out of here. Nuwa is about to rotate it in. Neath's here. Ymir's here. We're going to have to ult out. We ult, get some damage onto that Ymir. We we're just getting closed in. We're going to dash onto the Ymir, throw him, and we're able to clean up the Ymir. We're going to go ahead and work on the Oracles, hit camps while we can, then rotate back to our red buff. Our speed is going to be respawning pretty soon. We do have enough money for Hasten Katana, so we're probably going to want to back right here. We're going to hit these back Harpies. Then we're going to go ahead and back. I think Michelangelo has the best backing animation of the Turtles. He just hops on his skateboard, does some fancy things. Hasten Katana is going to provide us 25 power, 15% attack speed, and 7% movement speed. Hitting an enemy with a basic attack is going to grant Hasten for 1 second, causing you to be immune from basic attack movement speed penalties. So that means that as we're basic attacking, we're going to be able to walk around as if we had normal speed. We're not going to be slowed while basic attacking, assuming that we hit an enemy. Three people in mid. I don't know how much we're going to be able to do right here. Mercury is great on one-on-one -on -one fights. He is not fantastic in a 1v3 fight. So we're kind of just holding out in middle lane. Trying to look scary so they don't get our tower. But they're able to get our tower. We're going to dash in. We're about to get stunned. We could have beads that. We could have pre-beads that while dashing. But Femory did have his jump. He was going to be able to get away either way. They're still hanging out in mid. We do have our ultimate. Fenrir is able to jump away from the Baron ultimate. We're going to loop behind. Ooh, that would have been a beautiful ultimate shot. Instead, we're trying to get some basics onto them. We step on the Scotty Ice. We're attacking from behind. There's a meditation from Scotty. We're able to clean up the Scotty. Now we need to run. We get stunned. We could have beased that. And unfortunately, we go down to the new off. We definitely didn't play that to the best of our ability. 
We probably should have tried to ult in. They all four people lined up. That would have been a fat ult too. But unfortunately, we kind of just chased down the new walk, got stunned, and looked like a potato for a second. So after going into Hades and Katana, we're going to be going into Deathbringer. Deathbringer is a very expensive item. Deathbringer is going to provide us 40 physical power, 25% crit chance, and it has a passive that critical damage is going to be 30% more or deal 30% more damage. So we're going to be going into Deathbringer and Rage. If you go into Rage first, it's not going to provide us the power spike that we're really looking for. Deathbringer is going to give us a nasty power spike. Crit is not very effective against enemies that have protections. For some reason, they have a Scotty solo, so I don't think she's going to be building many protections, but Ymir is going to have some protections. We're going to dash in on the Scotty, use our basics, so we're able to just keep up with her. We're going to use our ultimate, we're able to get the spin on her. We're kind of in a bad spot, we didn't expect New All to show up. We're gonna go ahead and kinda use our one and we're able to clean up the Scotty. We're gonna go ahead and lifesteal off this minion camp. Because we have Jungler's Blessing, we're receiving a heal to our health and our mana every time we kill a Jungler camp. Gold Fury looks pretty open. We're gonna go ahead and rotate to it. We used R2 to increase our attack speed. And we're able to clean up the gold fury. That's going to be some gold for us. Jing ults the Emir away from the team and away from the Medusa ult. That was not coordinated very well. We're going to avoid this new all. We've already died to her once. We're going to try to avoid it as much as possible. Get our one off onto the Neath. We're going to look at rerouting. Started trying to attack from behind. We're going to activate our two. We're able to clean up the Emir. We're going to try to get some basics onto this new wall. We use our one. And we're able to clean up the new wall. We're able to stick to her like glue because we have haste and katana. So it's just the enemy Scotty left on the enemy team. We could probably get Pyromancer, if not Fire Giant right here. But it looks like we're going to back. We have enough money for our Deathbringer. We're going to hop on our skateboard and then head to the lane. Slash speed buff. We're going to start a rotation. That's what I'm trying to say. Two people in mid. We're going to go ahead and clear this. We can't do anything to help Baron, so we're going to continue our rotation, go drop the blue buff after cleaning up the minion wave in the solo lane. We're going to get some gold right there, gold and XP. Baron's down, so we're going to go ahead and clean up his lane, kind of push it back to where the minions are meeting in the middle of the lane. Go ahead and drop that, rotate over, get another wave. So we are not intentionally building attack speed. The Golden Blade and Hasten both have attack speed stats on it, but that's not the reason why we're building those items. We're building those items because it's going to give us movement speed and some utility for Mercury. Being able to split the damage is going to be very helpful, basically giving him AoE basic attacks, and then having Hasten allowing him to stick to the enemies as he's chasing them down, landing basic attacks. And then Deathbringer is just for the damage. Now that we can stick to somebody like Glue, we're going to start trying to crit them as often as possible. The Ymir and Neath are a little overstepped. We're going to see if we can come around on this new off. She uses her ultimate. Fenrir is on us. We're going to use our ultimate. Oof. And we are able to dash right as he bites down on us. Making us CC immune and canceling him out of his ultimate. Sounds like your homies could use some help. We are pretty weak, but I think we can probably get a pick over here. We just gotta watch out for the Ymir Freeze. 
We miss our one. We get some basics. Fat crits onto this Neath. We're able to get the pick onto the Neath. We're going to throw him. Fenris here. We're going to start running away. We do have our blink. We're going to go ahead and try to back. Scotty is rotating in. We can't really help out the Jing too much without putting our own life at risk. So after going into Deathbringer, we're going to go into Rage. Rage is going to provide us 20 physical power and 30% crit chance. It has a passive that as we get a kill or assist, we're going to gain a stack of 3% critical strike chance. At 5 stacks, which is the maximum amount of stacks, this item is going to evolve, providing us 45% crit chance. We're going to go ahead and rotate right. Looks like the whole enemy team's over here. We want to drop our red buff so they can't invade it. We're looking for an enemy. Oh, we see somebody. Use our basic. We're going to try to stick this Fenrir. We're able to get the pick on Fenrir. We walked into a Ymir. He freezes us and Nuwa has the damage to get us. Unfortunate. Oh, this wasn't a full game. Somebody from the Discord did drop. We did have a random. Neath was the random. We're playing with three other people, and then myself, and then a random. The three people are from the Discord server. Link will be in the description down below. We're thinking about selling our jungler's blessing, but we don't have enough money for our next item, so we're just going to hold on to it because it is providing a little bit of health regen as we're clearing camps. Right now, we're 11, 2, and 4. We're doing pretty well. Our first death was really preventable. Our second death was kind of just a bad engagement. We dove into 3, maybe even 4 people, got the pick on 1, and then it's got CC'd to death. Trying to let the team know that we need some wards. Ymir is over and right. We're going to go ahead and pick up our speed buff. Retreat. Retreat On the way. We're going to dash onto this Fenrir. Get some basics. Jing's able to get the pick. Three people there. We're going to use our bees because we thought we were going to get stunned from the new all. We use our one and we get some damage onto the new all. We're going to try to get some basics onto this Neath. We get the Neath. We gotta watch out for this new wall. And a very stupid mistake. <laughs> we dash on new wall while within the fire giant. And then the fire giant is able to get some good damage on us from one of his fire balls. Our team is getting pieced up. It's a 2v2. I think the Ymir and Nuwa are both gonna be able to get away. We're getting close to have enough money for the sixth item that we want that's going to replace our jungler's blessing. Baron goes down. Now Jing needs to get out of there. Get out of there, Jing. He uses his beads and his Aegis. He's able to jump and avoid the Ymir freeze. New all ult down. Luckily, we spawned right after she cast it, so we don't have to worry about that damage for a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and drop our speed buff. We might ult. We're gonna ult this new all, get some basics on her. Oh no, and she beads our dash, and we miss our one. Yimmy is here. Same with Neath. We're gonna be a little careful. Our team is able to clean up the Nuwa. We kind of set up that damage. We're going to get some basics onto the Sneath. We're able to get the pick onto... Medusa's able to get the pick onto the Neath. I don't know how. Felt like we were basic attacking her. Medusa uses her ultimate. Fenrir goes down. We just wipe three. We need to kind of push this advantage. We're going to go ahead and use our basics onto the Ymir. And we're able to get a pick onto the Ymir. 
So we could rotate to gold, or we could rotate the fire giant. Fire giant might have been the better call, but we only had three people, and Neath is already at the gold. So this is a Primal Fury. The Primal Fury is going to provide a buff that allows us to deal 5% more damage to all camps on the map. This includes Harpies, the Colored Camps, Pyromancer, Future Gold Furies, and the Fire Giant. It can stack up to three times, so we just got our very first stack on it. And it's also going to spawn an enhanced minion wave in each lane. These minions are going to glow red, and they have more protections and deal a little bit more damage. Trying to get Medusa to tank this for us, we're going to go ahead and help her burn it down. We have a fat wave building up in left. We probably could have pushed it, but we're going to go ahead and back, play it safe. So we're going to sell our Jungler's Blessing and pick up Atalanta's Bow. Atalanta's Bow is going to provide us 25 physical power, 25% attack speed, and 20% penetration. We're really getting this item for the pen. Upon getting a kill or assist on an enemy, we're going to gain Atalanta's Agility for 10 seconds. This effect increases your attack speed by 20% and decreases your movement speed penalties by 30%. That is a Neath ult from our Neath. We gotta be a little bit careful how we fight this. I feel like we're losing team fights, which is not a good sign. We get poked by Neath. We're gonna dash in on her. Kind of waits out our root duration. We're going to basic attack this Fenrir. We're able to clean up the Fenrir. We're going to use our ultimate. Dash in on the Neath. Get some basics on her. And we're able to clean up the Neath. We're pretty weak for the rest of the team fight. But we were able to pick off two squishy characters. We're thinking about blinking in on this Nuwa. We accidentally dash in on the Scotty. We're going to use our beads, but the Nuwa ultimate is going to be able to clean us up. So that was just a little too aggressive. We probably should have backed right there after getting the take onto the Fenrir and Neath. If it's a one on one fight, we're doing great, but if we're diving the back line with two people and not much support from our team, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Baron just eating a lot of damage right there. Pops us two, gains some additional movement speed. He should try to start peeling back. And that is a Dia side. So I definitely, I'm leaning towards we're losing these team fights. That's very unfortunate. We need to get some picks and then make sure that we don't go down. That's going to be our best bet for success in this game. We get some fat crits onto the Scotty. Enough to scare her off. We're going to use our ultimate, dash in, get a basic, and then now we're on the run. <laughs> That's all we wanted to do. Get a pick, and now we're out. We're going to go ahead and clean up left lane a little bit. It looks like they were pushing uh, or back mid. So we're just going to hang out in the left lane, push this wave up a little bit. A little bit of lag going on. New out ultimate. We're definitely going to want to back after this. We need to go ahead and get some basics, activate our 2 to increase our attack speed. Neath's coming from somewhere. We're going to dash away. Ymir's chasing us. We're going to blink. And our blink came up just in time to allow us to blink out of there. We're going to go ahead and back. Oh, Ymir's chasing us down. We'll poke him. And then we'll go ahead and back.
We're gonna sell our boots, buy our movement speed potion, and then we're gonna go into Mantle of Discord. We'll get to the stats in just a moment. We're gonna get a power pot. We're also going to buy two wards. Dash. Looks like the team fight is happening in left. We're gonna start charging up our ultimate. We're gonna dash through everyone and try to get to the back line. We use our ultimate, we're able to get a pick onto one. They have no idea I'm behind them. We get a basic, we're able to clean up the new wash, use a majority of their damage. That's gonna be a double kill. We're gonna throw this Neath into the wall, get some basics onto her. And we're able to clean up the Neath. We're gonna get some basics onto the Scotty. We're already at a triple. There's the Emir, we're gonna use our one, get a basic onto him. We're at the quadra kill. Now we just need to basic attack the Scotty and we get the Penta kill. I think that's my second ever Penta kill in a game. And now we should be able to just clean up this fire giant uncontested. That fight went really well in our favor. We used our ultimate to get to the back line. We dashed through the team. We got a kill onto one person. That just felt amazing. We're gonna go ahead and drop the fire giant and then drop the pyromancer. Now we need to push. We don't need to back, we need to push as a team. Here comes the new ultimate. We're gonna pop our Baron's Brew. We're gonna go ahead and drop this tower. New Aw's here, we cast our one, get a little bit of damage off. We're gonna go ahead and steal the speed buff. Picking up the speed is going to increase our power a little bit from Mercury's passive. We have three here, we're missing our solo and our carry. We're trying to wait for the right time to go into this fight. We use our ultimate, we're able to dash in on two. We're gonna be careful in this fight. The enemy minions are really far pushed up left and right, so our only chance of pushing right here is through mid. Barons get into the fight. We're gonna hit some camps, kinda fall back. The fight's still going on. Scotty knows we're coming from the side. Ymir knows we're coming from the side. We're gonna dash away. That brings two people into the jungle, so now there's only three in mid. We're gonna use our one, get a crit onto the knee. We're gonna go ahead, that's two down. Now it's looking like a good fight. That's a Ymir ult. Ymir is not in Phoenix, so he's a great target. We're gonna throw him away from Phoenix and then start trying to just land basic attacks on him. Ymir goes down. Fenrir jumps in aggressively. There's the Fenrir ultimate. He misses his grabs. Now we should be able to get a Phoenix. We're gonna go ahead and get the Phoenix. Fenrir goes down. Now it's just the new all left. We should be able to push this as a team. We're gonna activate our two. Get in there and land some basics onto the Titan. We get stunned. And we should be able to close this one out. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps these videos out. If you're trying to join the Discord, the link is in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, or if you feel like you learned anything at all, check out the channel and subscribe for more content. The stats for this game will be posted in just a moment. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.